Hello and welcome to another episode of Tickling Chains. We're back out on the course today and up the treasure coast of Florida to Hal Patioke Park in Stewart, Florida. Hal Patioke Park is a par 54, 4,079 foot course featuring some tight wooded windows in those back nines. So we'll see how we do. We've got a phenomenal car joining us today. First, we've got two of the top female disc golfers in the state of Florida winning pretty much every single tournament they play on. We're going to get our mojo on today with Morgan and Jordan Lins. Also joining us today, shredding up the course, is Brian Glass. And last but not least, and on the commentary, of course, is myself, Trent Pendergast. I'm out here playing it blind. Help Patioke, hard to say, hard to spell. Let's see if it's hard to play. Let's go sling some D. All right, let's fire it up. Hole one is a 240 foot par three with a little bit of a tight window with the tennis courts on the left out of bounds and extremely thick woods on the right. You got a curly a drive around the last tree. Brian here is gonna show us a nice little turnover. A Little bit difficult to see, touch early, but he should be good with the putt. See who's up next year. Looks like Morgan gonna go sidearm. Gonna scoot up there nicely. We'll see what she ends up with. This tee is uh, totally blind, can't see the basket, so you gotta figure out where you're at when you're here. Here comes Jordan with a nice little sidearm. That should play well. Here comes my turnover. A Little bit to the right, we'll see where I end up. Here's Jordan ended up in a little bit of woods. Like I said, these right side woods are pretty thick. She just does a nice little upshot. She'll have a drop in for par. Here's me, absolute jail. Nowhere to go, a little patent pending thing. Boop tree that'll be a theme for today folks got to go patent pending again gonna scoot it up by the basket there not a good start to the round here's brian he's got himself a little bit of a look here in between all these trees oh great bid morgan ended up in a pretty nice spot her birdie bid we'll see how she does oh so close first putt of the day on the course always a tough one here comes jordan four par banging it in there great putt by her and here I come, waltzing up to tapping my disappointing bogey on hole one. Tough start to the round, but we'll get over it maybe. And then Brian gonna tap in his par. Great job by him getting through those woods. On to hole two. Hole two is a 240 foot par three. We have Obi with these tennis courts on the left-hand side. Once again, thick bush on the right-hand side. So that's a little bit of a gel. A little tight window. We'll see how Brian does here. Gets a good little line. Ooh, a little kiss off those trees. And he'll be in a nice little spot. Here comes Morden hitting us with a sidearm. Bink! Off the pole, into the woods. We'll see how far that is. Hopefully it's not too far. Jordan coming up next with the backhand. Ooh, yeah, she's showing us the line there. Beautiful full flight out of that disc. She'll be in a great little spot. Next up is me, showing us the theme for the day. Little high, hitting it off the tree and plopping it down in the fairway. We'll see what I end up with when we get up there. Here comes Morgan, patent pending out of these bushes. Does have an angle at the basket. Oh yeah, nice little upshot. Good recovery there. She should have a putt to save her par. We'll see how I do with my upshot. Uh, not as well as I'd like. A little bit to the left. I'll have some work to do for my par. We'll see what happens. Oh my god, it's a bush! It's putting! Just kidding, that's Brian. Oh no! Right off the top and Brian. Tough luck there. Me for my par. A little downhill. Air ball. Air ball. Here comes Morgan for her par. Boom, right down the middle showing me how it's done. That's hole two for us. Hole three is a 270 foot par three baskets pretty much right in front of us. We do have some obstacles with the no fly zone tennis courts on the right hand side and a couple of trees to avoid, but it is pretty straightforward. Jordan's starting us off with a low backhand. That's a driver in hand. Unfortunately, it's gonna take a big skip out of bounds. Hopefully she'll be able to recover. Here's Brian with a beautiful flex shot. Gonna see the end of it here. Fly down and land right by the basket. He's going to tap in his birdie. Great drive by him. Oh, no. Morgan gets rejected by that tree and decides to point at it. Mean tree. Here I am, plopping it down in the middle of the fairway, just hoping I can stop the bleeding and end up with a par. Morgan coming at us with her upshot. A little sidearm action here. 
Gonna give it a nice little angle there. She should be all right for her par. We'll see how that plays out. Here comes Jordan after the unfortunate out of bounds drive. She's gonna flick that. She's gonna end up right under the basket to save her bogey. Here I am, long putt. Not a great bid, but I'll end up to tap in my par. Here is Morgan in the sunlight. Oh no. She's gonna have to settle for a bogey on that hole. I'm gonna tap in my par here, stop the bleeding. Here's our scores after three holes. Hole four is a 322 foot par three with OB way on the left hand side with a parking lot and some deep brush on the right hand side, but it's pretty much an open shot. Brian gonna crush on his drive here. Gonna get a little bit of too much turn there, but he should be okay. Morgan gonna hit us with a beautiful sidearm. Woo, look at that thing. Crushing on it, very nice. Here comes Jordan. Give it a little backhand action. Also right at the basket. Very good drive there. Going to skip up. Here's my turn. Also going backhand. And we're falling through that theme again. A little too much turn. Off the tree. Straight down. I will end up in the fairway though. Going to go with a little sidearm action here. Just flick it up by the basket. I'll be in a nice spot to drop in my par. Here comes Jordan. Gonna give a little upshot bid here. Ooh, baby, that was pretty darn close. Here comes Brian. Steppies! Oh, just a little low. Here we go, look at this drive. Morgan, right there. Gonna have a long bid. All right, just drops it there for her upshot. Gonna sell for the par. I think I'm the longest par putt here, so I'm showing mine. And then we're gonna move on to hole five. Here are our scores. Hole five is a 310 foot par three. There is no out of bounds. However, there's thick vegetation on the right and left side of the basket. The basket itself tucked behind those little poles in the foreground there. Brian's gonna start us off with a backhand. Gonna smash on it. Looks like it's gonna hyzer a little bit to the left there. He'll end up in the bushes on the left-hand side. Morgan going full sidearm mashed potatoes here. Crushing that thing. Wish I could throw my sidearm that good. Jordan gonna give us the backhand. Gets a little bit too much turn on it. Ah, she'll end up in those bushes. She'll have an upshot though. Here comes me. Also gonna follow her line. A little too much turn. Off into the bushes. I'll be out in the open though. Here's my upshot. Not bad, tucking it under the basket. I'll have a par for a drop in. Here comes Brian from far away. Sun doesn't want to show us the basket, but he dropped it. He'll be right under the basket for his par. Here comes Morgan, her bid for birdie. Oh, just missed. We missed Jordan's up shot, but here she is. Four par, bam, right down the middle. Here's our scores after five. Hole six is a 321 foot par three. A little bit of a tunnel shot here. Tons of bushes on the right, tons of bushes on the left. The fairway is sloped down to the left-hand side. Not only that, it's on an elevated basket. This hole sounds fun. Brian gonna smash on a backhand. A little bit to the left, he'll be in the left side bushes there. Comes Jordan. Also gonna be on the left-hand side. Morgan's gonna play it smart and just throw a putter. Right down the middle of the fairway. Probably what I should have done, but I decided to throw my drive in the left side bushes just like everybody else. What the heck? Join the team. Here comes Brian with his upshot in a difficult spot. Ah, oh, man. He is on the fairway, though, so that's one bonus. Here's me for my upshot. A little bit better luck. Got a touch better clearance. I should be okay for my par. Comes Morgan. A little bit too much juice. We'll see what kind of putt she has back. Jordan, a little left shot. Ooh, a little early lease. She'll have one tough one to the left. Here comes Brian for his third. A little patent pending. Does a little Anheuser release and plops her right down by the basket. Here comes Jordan for her par. See how she does. Splash! Oh, oh my God, that might be the greatest putt we've ever recorded on this channel. Elevated basket, 40 feet away. Splash! Great putt. Yeah. My God, how are we ever going to recover from that putt? Well, guess what? Morgan's not gonna get big putted here. She says, I got you, sis. Bang! Two absolutely amazing putts in a row. I can't believe it. On to the next hole.
Hole 7 is a 242 foot par 3, a little bit of a tunnel shot with lots of vegetation to the right and left. We have a blind tee shot, the pin is tucked to the right hand side behind a tree so you're going to have to get a little turnover or a forehand. I try for the turnover but nope, rejected by a tree and straight down, luckily I ended up in the fairway. Brian's going to show us how the turnover is supposed to be done, a little higher, a little wider. He'll end up parked right by the basket for his birdie again. Morgan's going to hit us with a sidearm. Ooh, a little bit early. Going to end up in the bushes. We'll see what we end up with her. Ooh, tickling chains history. First ever forearm roller. Ooh, she gets it through there. Great job there. She will have a putt to save her par. Here comes me. Forearm. Hey, that's possibly the worst shot ever recorded in tickling chains history. Where was that going? In the bushes, that's where. Here's Jordan after that roller, saving her par. Like I said, Brian pretty much parked. Here's him tapping in his birdie. I missed Morgan's drive, but it ended up great. And there's her tapping in her birdie. I ended up with the bogey onto hole eight. Hole eight is a 322 foot par three. We've got an OB path on the right-hand side. Also a bunch of guardian trees. It's making the big hyzer a little bit hard. So most people go a little flex shot. There's the pin right in front of us. You see right here, Morgan's gonna go big time sidearm. Wonderful flex out of that shot. She'll be in great position. Here comes Brian. Beautiful turnover backhand. That will stable out nice for him. He will have a putt for birdie. Nice drive there. Here comes Jordan hitting us with the backhand. Gonna be a little too stable and go out to the left. She will still be on the fairway though. Finally me with my backhand shot. And keeping along with the theme, hitting some vegetation. Luckily it falls in the fairway. Here's my up shot. See what I can do. Ooh, is it running in? Is it pink? Oh man, so close. Look at that, almost a throw in. Beautiful shot by me. I'll have a tap in par. Here comes Jordan with her up shot. Ah, a little bit high. Caught that tree, batted straight down. Morgan just gonna drop that right up there. Here comes Brian for his birdie. No, oh, so what in the world is going on with that roll away? Oh no, look at that. Almost catches the birdie, gets a terrible roll away. Oh no. Here comes Jordan for her par. Bang, man, she really zips that putt in there. Awesome putt. See who's up next, Brian. Go for his par here. Oh no, more roll away. Oh no. What a couple of tough breaks there. Morgan tapping in her par. I tip at my par. And Brian's gonna go ahead and clean up his bogey. What a tough break on that hole. Here's our scores after eight holes. Here we go, finishing out the front nine with a 372 foot par three. Once again, we've got a path on the right hand side. Also some guardian trees making the big hyzer very difficult. Morgan gonna go forehand. Look at this beautiful shot. Right down the middle, great drive there. Jordan's gonna give us a backhand here next. Good little shot there. She'll be right down the middle, right in the middle of the fairway. Nice little drive there. Brian gonna give us another backhand, big turnover backhand. He will be in a nice spot, gonna give us a little putt there. I'm also gonna drive, I'll be a little further out. In the fairway, here comes Jordan. Good little up shot, she'll have a little bit of work to do. She'll be up on that hill, it'll be a difficult putt. Here comes Morgan, beautiful sidearm up shot. She'll be right by the basket. Here's me with my up shot. Going a little flicky backhand, just parking it right near the basket. Comes Brian, he'll have a putt. Steppies! Oh, a little bit left. Here comes Jordan for her par. Bang! Oh my God, what a putt. Look at this, on top of the hill. No regard for that, just totally running it. Splash, great job, her. Here comes me, I'm the next farthest away. Tapping in my par. Everybody else cash theirs. Moving on to the last open hole of the course before we go to the quote unquote technical section. Hole 10, 300 foot par three. No real obstacles other than this out of bounds fence on the left hand side. We'll see how we end up. 
Morgan gonna give us a nice little sidearm. Gonna Heiser out to the right here. Jordan gonna give us a nice flexy backhand. That's gonna stable back and come to the left. She'll be in a nice little spot. Here comes Brian, gonna give us a backhand. Full sendies! That'll Heiser out to the left. He'll be in a good spot as well. Finally, myself with the backhand. Give it a little bit too much turn, a little bit low. I'll have an upshot. We're gonna go backhand upshot here. Nice little angle, that'll be right under the basket. Here comes Jordan with hers. We missed the front part of her throw, but there's the back part, dropping it right under. Here's me and Emma with a long putt. Ugh. Where's the mustard? Here comes Brian with his long putt from his great drive. Uh, oh, so close. And here comes the girls tapping in their pars. Had a little party on this hole. Here's our scores after 10. All right, we're starting the technical section of the course, AKA the hard section, hole 11, a little shorty, 195 feet. Got to hit a little tight window here, but there's lots of guardian trees. So we'll see who makes it. Here comes Morgan. Nice little Anheuser forehand there. She'll be up by the basket. Nice job. Jordan going to do the same. Ah, catches an early tree. She'll be in a good spot for an upshot. Brian also going forehand. Ooh, a little early vegetation there. He'll have to do an upshot, collect his par. Here comes me, the only backhand of the group. I get through a little bit to the left. We'll see what kind of putt I have when I get up there. Here comes Brian, gonna have to do a little flickies. He'll be in a nice spot to collect his far putt. Jordan, a little attempt. Oh, close. Here comes me with a long straddle putt. Ah, just missed. Here's Brian with some work to do for his par. Ooh, nice putt. That's about 25 feet. Great job. There goes Jordan tapping in her par. Morgan also ended up with a par on that hole. I don't know what happened to the rest of her shots. Here we go. Hole 12, a 274-foot par 3. We've got ourselves a really tight window. Then the pin is actually tucked to the left, so we're going to have to make a left turn somehow to get to this basket. Morgan's up first with the backhand. Little early. Ah, oh, caught a tree. That's unfortunate. Let's see what Jordan has for us here. Also going backhand, looking good. Oh, same tree, twinning in real life and also on that shot. Here comes Brian, ooh, skippies. What a skip shot, that took a giant skip. I liked it so much, I'm gonna try the same thing. Got a little higher and my skip really worked well. We'll find out where I am when we get up there. Here comes Morgan, gonna have to do a little forehand roller to get out in the area to access the pin. Does a nice job getting it to a good spot. Jordan gonna go forehand. Ooh, beautiful forehand. Look at that flex shot. Right up there by the basket, nice work. Here comes Brian, his skip scop a little bit short. Does another little skippies right up into the basket. Nice job by him. Morgan gonna do a nice little hyzer up to the basket. Here's where I ended up, about 40. Oh man, my putts are just off today. Jordan dropping that thing in there for her par. Morgan also cleaning it up here. Brian also ended up with a par as well. Here's our scores moving into the technical section. On to hole 13, a 258 foot par three. This hole is similar to hole 12. You've got to get it going left towards the end after you hit some initial gaps. We'll see what Jordan's got for us on a backhand here. Ooh, nice little line making it through <clears throat> and getting a nice hyzer to the left. Great drive by her. Here comes Brian going a little wider. Getting it to the left nicely. He'll have a putt. We'll see what I've got for us a little bit earlier. But again, making it through the gap. We'll see what I have when I get up there. And last but not least, Morgan. Also going lefty. Nice right through. I ended up the furthest away, just gonna do a little flicky up shot, get it up there under the pin, collect my par, move on. Here comes Brian from the woods. Oh, great bid. Here comes Morgan for birdie. Great release. Oh, what? Oh my God, what the heck? Look at that spit out. 
Awful luck there. Great putt. Wasn't rewarded. Here comes Brian to collect his part. Oh, what? The same thing. Let's take another look. Oh, my God. That's terrible luck. I'm so angry. I can't even finish this hole. Let's move on to the next one. Hole 14 is the most difficult hole in the course. It's a 290 foot par three. The pin is on the right hand side, but you cannot see it. Hole really makes kind of an S. There also is a Mando tree you have to hit. We'll see what Jordan does here. Oh no, boink, off the Mando tree. That's an unfortunate break there. We'll see what I do. I guess I liked her line. I'm gonna follow it and miss the Mando as well. Brian's gonna go sidearm here, a little bit high. He's gonna catch that early tree, but he'll be in front of the Mando, so he's safe. Morgan's the last one. Nice little Anheuser sidearm. She'll end up in the fairway. It's a good spot to be in. Here comes Brian. Nice little Heiser up shot. We'll see where he ends up. Jordan gonna go through the bushes. Hopefully she makes it through there. I'm gonna try to sidearm here. Tree. Sticking with the theme today. Can't get away from these trees. Here I am but back again. Another sidearm up shot. Hopefully I'll have some sort of putt. Here comes Jordan with her up shot, a little sidearm. She's gonna make progress towards the basket here. She should be there for the putt. Brian made it to the bushes. He's gonna do a nice little hyzer skip up shot here. Oh yeah, beautifully done. It'll be right by the basket. All right, we're back to Morgan. She was on the fairway, a little up shot, run at it. Oh, so close. Here I am, gotta look. We'll see if I can, oh, nope, tree sticking with the theme. Unfortunate break there, here I am. Looking to cash in my five with a long putt. All right, nice putt at least. And there's Jordan tapping in hers. Brian gonna clean up his bogey here and congratulations to Morgan, the only one with a par on that hole. Great way to play that. Hole 15 is another shorty at 162 feet, but it is technical. There's a forehand line you can take, but you've also got to battle through a bunch of trees near the basket, so we'll see how we do. Morgan's gonna start us off with a little sidearm here. Oh yeah, that's a good angle. That's gonna get through. Nice work, she'll have a putt. Comes Brian, gonna do the same thing, a little lower. Gonna hit us with the skippies. All right, that's a great drive. Jordan's gonna go next, little sidearm as well. He's gonna go a little bit towards the middle. Ah, oh, no, caught an early tree. And I'm gonna go backhand here, gonna try to hyzer it around all these trees. Stays a little too straight for me. I'll have a long putt, but not a great look. Pick up Jordan here. Got a long run at it, and get, oh, so close. Here I am, long, ugh. Little two nose down on that putt. And here we have Morgan, cash money, and Brian is just absolutely parked there. Great hole by those two. Moving on to hole 16. Hole 16 is a 246 par three. The pin is on the left, so you're gonna have to hit this initial gap and make through and get it to fade to the left, either through a, a nice hyzer or through a skip shot. We'll see how people play it here. Morgan gonna go more traditional, going straight hyzer. She hits the angle, great drive there. Brian gonna go skippy's giant skip. And a great shot, we'll see how that ends up. Jordan gonna go try, oh no, early tree. We'll see where she ends up. Hopefully she's got a look. I'm also gonna go backhand here. I like Brian's line. So I'm gonna go ahead and try a nice little skip shot. Boom, I nail it. Skippies. Who would have thought that's a good shot for me? Comes Jordan stuck in the thickness here. Oh, Thumma. We'll see if she gets through. Morgan, oh, so close. Here comes Brian. Cashing in another birdie. He's getting hot. Here comes Jordan. Ah, oh, man. That was for par. Jordan's gonna tap in her bogey here. And here's me, absolutely parked in the hole. Finally a good shot out of me, hitting my birdie. We're at hole 17, getting towards the end here. And that's a 236 par three. Once again, a lot of trees we've got to navigate. We'll see how we do. The pin is pretty much directly in front of us, but you can't go directly at the basket because there's too many trees right there. So we'll see what we do. Brian gonna go backhand here. Ooh, a little early release. Ah, it's an unfortunate spot he's gonna end up in. We'll see what he does. Here I am, guess what? Making a reservation for dinner. First available, hitting that tree. We'll see what I end up with. Here comes Morgan. A little bit lower on her forehand, but she'll end up in an okay spot. 
Jordan's gonna work her way up the middle, try for the line there. She'll end up in an okay spot for her upshot. Here I am, gonna hyzer around all these trees. I get through, I'm gonna have a putt. Here comes Brian in the thickness, doing a nice hyzer. He'll end up with a putt for his uh, par. Morgan with a nice upshot there. Once again, she ended up in the fairway, good spot to be. There goes Jordan, just dropping it under the pin. Here I am for my par. Ugh, terrible bed by me. Here's Brian from distance in the woods. Bang! Oh, oh what a yeah. putt. Saving his par. Can Morgan do the same? Oh, just missed. Jordan gonna tap in her par. Great hole by her. And then both Morgan and myself. We're gonna tap it out. Moving on to the last hole. Here's our scores. Here we go, the finale, hole 18, a 192 foot par three. A little bit of an ace run, but you've gotta hit this very narrow gap. The pin's right in front of us. We'll see who can make it down there. Start with Brian, nice backhand. Oh yeah, here's that line. Great drive by him, he is on fire right now. Jordan's up with the backhand here. Let's see what she does. Gets it through, oh no. Gets a little early tree, unfortunate break. Morgan going forehand. Oh yeah, here's that line also. She'll have a putt for birdie. Here comes me with the backhand. Little bit to the left, but I do get through. I'll have a putt. Jordan is stuck in a tough spot. Really, the only thing she can do is get a little slide up into the fairway. And now here she is. Beautiful upshot though. Good recovery. Here I am for my birdie. Oh, just missed it. Morgan with her birdie attempt. Bang! Oh my God, these girls just absolutely kill with the putts. Another huge one. Here comes Jordan finishing out her hole. Unfortunate kick at the beginning there. And Brian just parked again. Gonna just drop in his birdie. That'll give him a minus one on the round and he takes the card from us today. Great job by Brian. Also great job by the girls. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for today's video. Once again, if you keep watching them, I'll keep making them. What can I say about Hellpat? It's a short technical course, very fun to play, beautifully maintained. I suggest you check it out. Thank you so much to my card mates, Jordan and Morgan Linz, the Mojo Twins. Make sure you check out their YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description. And also to Brian Glass, absolutely shredding the course today, going one down. Nice work by him. As far as my game today, didn't have my putt. Oh well, I'm looking forward to come back here and taking another shot at Hell Patioki. Until then, sling them straight and tickle those chains. Peace.